Hi there everybody, Mars here, the teaching professional at Southwark Park Golf Club. Uh, this week's little video is, uh, is about drills. So I think, I guess a lot of you are watching your YouTube and your TikToks and your Facebook things and they're flooded with small little drills and tips. Some of which are, are great, some of which uh, I think are not so, but uh, each to their own. But I have got a few that I really like and, and that I use during lessons. And, and I've used them over quite a few number of years because at the end of the day a lot of what we're trying to do is muscle memory and if I can get your muscles to remember certain key moves in your swing and positions then sometimes these drills can be the ideal way to do it. So here's my first one. This, this is a tempo related drill and I find a lot of people, especially if you're right hand dominant, will want to rip that club away really quickly resulting in a very fast jerky backswing, something that might over rotate at the top of your swing, but most importantly of all, something that isn't repeatable. If you're going that fast, then it's very hard to control these top of your backswing positions. So two balls, you're going to put your club in between the two balls and you're going to draw the first ball back away from you, carrying on down, hitting the ball in front. So if it's wrong, uh, I'm not sure if you can exactly see this, but if it's wrong, the ball will very quickly shoot away from you and it's gone four or five meters backwards. If we get this right, you'll only move it just back beyond the ball. And that's all the speed you need in your backswing. So it's a good little tempo drill. Keep it nice and smooth. Uh, here's the next one for you. This one is basically a Nick Faldo one, a one I really like, and it's um, to get you into a good top of your backswing position. Um, I call it set and hit. So there's two ways to do this. If you take your normal setup position, kink your hands sideways, but still right in the middle of your body and on the line of your toes, all you really need to do from here is turn your shoulders. It might help you feel where your hand should be at the top of your backswing. Um, you can move on and try and hit balls like it. It's quite hard initially to time it, but after a while you'll get the hang of it. And then you can make that into one flowing movement. You can then even do it from this position here and up. But both things give you that nice top of your backswing position, one of my favourite drills. Here's one uh, I picked up from uh, a friend of mine that went to college in the States. Uh, I think this is one you want to do on your own because it's relatively embarrassing, but it's another tempo drill um, and it involves you humming while you're hitting. Seems a bit weird, but you'll get the hang of it because I will want you to go and not have an injection because you will see if you get it wrong you'll go mm, really accelerate into it so this is quite a hard drill something you want to do on your own for without a doubt but uh, it definitely works and it keeps you um, smooth mm -hmm. it's harder than it looks that but it's a really good drill this little drill is about compression um, and hitting down on irons and what you need to use is uh, something like a towel, something soft that you won't hurt yourself on. And uh, if you get this right, it will, it will probably sharpen the mind enough, enough to start that downward blow going on. If you get this wrong and rock back or hit off the back foot, you will hit the towel. Um, but if you get it right, you'll get a nice divot. We're going to use the same towel with the driver, slightly different drill. Similar drill, but in reverse. So with your driver, you want an upward hit and uh, an ascending blow and a descending one for your iron. So the towel is in front now. We're going to miss it on the way through by collecting the ball off the top of the tee and sweeping up on it. One tip, one part to the drill. In your setup position for most people, they can, you can get a bit too level with these shoulders. You're better off with this little slight shoulder tilt to, to help you hit up on it. So here's a little tip for you. Get into your hitting position, run this right hand down to your knee, 
the sort of tip of your fingers get to where your knee is and then drop the hand on underneath and it will leave you in that slightly tilted position to help you sweep up on it so if it all goes to plan we will miss the tee that was all right so that's that okay uh, moving on now this you're going to probably think oh just showing off or being a bit silly but this isn't showing off or being silly this is something you definitely can practice this is for the people that the biggest tip you can give anyone in golf is swing the club and not hit the ball it's waiting there for you to leather it off and that's the trouble that most people get in especially men coming from this big aggressive positions at the top where they're trying to smash the ball and you don't you want to swing the club so swing the club and not hit the ball the ball just hopefully gets in the way and you sweep it off so it shouldn't make a huge difference to me if I look or don't look. So this isn't the worst drill you can practice. It's something I like to get the kids to do sometimes. And if I trust myself and just swing the club, that is all right. So I hope you get something from those little tips and drills. Even if it's just one thing you can take out of that, it'll stand you in good stead and hopefully build that muscle memory and change your swing hopefully forever. Thanks for watching everyone.